the New York Times and other entities were running this piece and they were trying to say that the shooting was inspired by this map from Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin used this map and she had crosshairs on all these people. And that's exa- and that's and one of them was over Gabby, Gabby Giffords's district. And that's exactly what uh, that's that's what inspired this guy. But what they don't understand, and I wrote about this on January 9th, 2011. This was when I was the editor at Big Journalism under uh, when Andrew Breitbart was still alive and I worked at Breitbart. Uh, I wrote about this over there because the map originally was a like a Democratic Congressional Committee map and, or campaign committee map. And they ha- their original map was behind enemy lines, President Bush, and this was from the previous election, had won nine states by single digit margins and they should be ripe targets for Democrats. And they are and they identified all these states. Well, they used bullseyes and they had a bullseye right over Arizona and Tucson where Giffords's district was. Right. And so what Palin did was kind of a riff, her, the Sarah Pack thing, it was a riff off of that ad. They used that ad, but they used purveyor's marks instead of like, you know, crosshairs or bullseyes. And people didn't apparently know what that was. I thought actually it was very clever because I, when I first saw it, I thought it was them trying to prevent anybody from saying that they were using crosshairs. But people are stupid. Just like the media lost their minds at me when I used the word fisk and they wanted to act like it didn't exist. They also were too stupid to understand the difference between a surveyor symbol and a crosshair. It was literally the exact same DLC map that was used by Democrats, and she just, it was purposely to kind of mock them. She just cribbed it and replaced the bullseyes that they had with surveyor's marks. And the New York Times, which was forced later to apologize for this, had intimated that this was the thing that sparked the shooting. And so you have Eric Wemple, and I wanted to make sure, okay, so he's with Washington Post now, not with Politico. He had tweeted, quote, Uh, Some background, the issue at this trial is a June 2017 New York Times editorial alleging a link between Sarah Pack and the Loeffner shooting of 2011. The idea had been debunked years before, not long after the shooting itself. That's a lie. And I retweeted it and I went after him and I opened up my folder that was from all the way back in January 2011 and I began to beat the hell out of him with receipts because this is why I kept it. I knew that these people were going to do this sometime later. I knew that they were going to try to rewrite history and I'll be damned if I allow that to happen because I had friends that lived in Arizona at the time and who were tea partiers and had people threatening to kill them even on live national television at an ABC town hall Trent Humphreys was threatened with his life by someone on an ABC town hall he and his wife were at the grocery store getting stuff for their babies and when the shooting occurred when they came back Dupnik had already blamed the tea party and they had a whole gaggle of media on their lawn they were scared half to death young parents in their 20s are you kidding me all of these people were responsible for that and these ass bags want to come back 10 years later and sit here and say that they didn't do any of this that they did not amp up this rhetoric that they did not create the narrative that it was tea partiers or even pay. I don't care if you like Palin or not. That is separate from the fact that media malpractice literally created threats on innocent people's lives. Here's the piece from June 15th, 2017, written by Oliver Darcy of all people. Here's the headline for you. We're sorry. The New York Times issues a correction to editorial after controversy. So Eric Wimple, remember, he had said that this was debunked, that this never happened. Really? Because here's the first paragraph, quote, The New York Times on Thursday issued a correction to an editorial after it was widely criticized for incorrectly linking the 2011 shooting of Representative Gabby Giffords to a map circulated by Sarah Palin's political action committee, which showed certain electoral districts under crosshairs, end quote. Tell me again that the thing at the center of the story here was debunked. Anybody else want to try? That's one strike. Anybody else want to go for two? This is insane. They titled it America's Lethal Politics, and they admit in this piece, they said, we're sorry about this, and we appreciate that our readers called us on the mistake. So Eric Wimple saying that this was debunked is a lie. Him saying that the New York Times never alleged a link between Sarah Pack and the Loeffner shooting is a lie. They tweeted multiple times apologies about it. 
they issued a correction within the pages of their newspaper about it. It was listed in a square graphic at the bottom of the original editorial with an asterisk up top to denote to readers that there was a correction at the bottom. And now they want to rewrite history and say that this was debunked. I hope she takes them for everything that they have, including their birth certificates if they have one.